Dago Wab, Guinea, Garlic Bread, Pizza Sling, and Spaghetti Bin, and Victim on Perry Como, Luchado Pavarotti, Solo Meal, Non Singer Motherfucker. You gold teeth, gold chain wearing, fried chicken, and biscuit eating monkey. Flanny eyed, me no speaky American, own every fruit and vegetable stand in New York. Bullshit Reverend Sun Young Moon. Menudo, me to me to Puerto Rican cocksucker. But he's Jew, asshole. As the previous clip from Spike Lee's film, Do the Right Thing, shows, racial slurs and insults trip easily from people's lips. More and more, it seems, the dividing lines within our society are being drawn along how we are physically different from one another. Stuart Hall is professor of sociology at the Open University in Britain and is a key figure in the development of what has come to be known as cultural studies. What do I mean by a floating signifier? Well, to put it crudely, race is one of those major concepts which organize the great classificatory systems of difference which operate in human societies. And to say that race is a discursive category recognizes that all attempts to ground this concept scientifically, to locate differences between the races on what one might call scientific, biological, or genetic grounds, have been largely shown to be untenable. We must therefore, it said, substitute a socio-historical or cultural definition of race for the biological one. As the philosopher Anthony Appiah once put it succinctly, that it's time, as it were, that the biological concept of race was sunk without trace. Race is more like a language than it is like the way in which we are biologically constituted. Signifiers refer to the systems and concepts of the classification of a culture to its making meaning practices. And those things gain their meaning not because of what they contain in their essence, but in the shifting relations of difference which they establish with other concepts and ideas in a signifying field. Their meaning, because it is relational and not essential, can never be finally fixed but is subject to the constant process of redefinition and appropriation. But, you may say, can you seriously be claiming that it is simply a signifier, an empty sign, that it is not fixed in its inner nature, that it cannot be secured in its meaning, that it floats in a sea of relational differences? Is that the argument that you are advancing? And isn't it not only wrong, but a trivial, and I hear the word being rustled in the audience, an idealist approach to the brute facts of human history, which after all have disfigured the lives and crippled and constrained the potentialities of literally millions of the world's dispossessed. After all, why don't we use the evidence of our eyes? If race was such a complicated thing, why would it be so manifestly obvious to everywhere we look? I better say it again because I can feel the sense of relief that after skirting around through these various discursive structures, we've come to what, after all, we all know about race. It's reality. You can see its effects. You can see it in the faces of the people around you. You can see people pulling their skirts aside as people from another racial group come into the room. You can see the operation of racial discrimination in institutions and so on. What is the need of all this scholarly hullabaloo about race when you can just turn to its reality? What trail through history is more literally marked by blood and violence, by the genocide of the Middle Passage, the horrors of plantation servitude, and the hanging tree. A signifier, a discourse, yes, that is my argument. 